Orange Moon is one of my favorite drinks by far because it combines chamomile with orange juice, lemon juice, um, sugar, or agave nectar. If we were talking about agave nectar and the healthier aspects of agave. You can use agave nectar uh, as a nice healthy additive to this drink. Um, you can also use Splenda. Um, if you prefer equal or you prefer a little bit of sweet and low, that's fine too. Uh, but chamomile uh, is one of my most exciting finds along my journey here with Y Stones because it has so many applications. In this application, we turn it into a really refreshing morning drink. Um, how many of you drink orange juice in the morning? I do. Fantastic. How many people here drink chamomile tea? I do. Okay, so fantastic. So we have two natural marriages here. We have a floral and we have a sweet. All right, floral coming from chamomile, sweet coming from your uh, orange juice. We even have a little sour component of the lemon juice. And what lemon juice does to this is it brightens up the drink gives a really nice morning taste to it, a really nice calming taste. Um, we're even going to add a little bit of vanilla bean, which calms it down just a tad, but gives it a nice, clean, tertiary flavor. Um, the difference between a bartender and a mixologist, bartender can follow recipes. Mixologist creates recipes. So to be a mixologist, you really have to know your flavors. You have to know what matches, what doesn't work, uh, and even stretch your mind a little bit. And that's what you have to do as a mixologist. You have to be able to forward think and think about all the possibilities with five, six, seven products, sometimes even 20 products in front of you and figure out how they all work together to get that taste you're looking for. So, enough chatter. Let's get to the drinks again, here, shall we? Orange Tequila Moon. So we're gonna start with chamomile tea. Um, chamomile tea, in this case, is gonna be double strength. Um, Mmm, love this tea. So, let's see here. Okay, let me grab this. Okay, so we got a couple of different things here, um, but the main thing is this chamomile tea. So, chamomile tea is the main component in this drink. We're going to start with about, in this case, about four ounces, okay? Um, but in this case, because we've got other people here, we're going to do a little sampling, so I want you to be able to try it as well. So I'm going to double that recipe, okay? Um, then we're going to add a little bit of tequila to it, but in this case, um, because we are trying to show you the versatility of the product, I'm going to do it just like we serve it in the cafe, which doesn't have alcohol, um, but we will be able to do other tastes later with it. You'll be able to tell the difference there. Um, moving on from there, we're going to use a sweetener. Now, typically I use sugar in the cafe to sweeten this drink. But, as a mixologist, I'm always looking for new innovative ways to do that. So, what I've got here is a simple syrup. Now, simple syrup is basically a half and half concoction. So it's half sugar, half water. It's been boiled down to about 50% reduction just to give it a nice thickness to it. So it's not mostly water you're tasting, it's the sugar. Um, but nowadays, mixologists are going for crazier, more inventive feels on things. So in this one, we have Tahitian vanilla bean and fresh um, sliced ginger that's been steeped in this for about two hours. So this will give it a really <coughs> nice, luxurious mouthfeel in the drink. We're going to add about, in this drink, about two, well, about two of these jiggers full. So that's about two ounces, okay? And it's also easier because you can dissolve it right away. Um, you don't have to worry about waiting for it, um, waiting for it to dissolve. You don't have to sit there with a spoon and shake it, especially if you're doing a large pitcher of it, say for a barbecue um, or a cookout outside or even a brunch. So um, then from this point on, we're gonna add the lemon juice. Lemon juice is gonna be half as much. So what we do, all these jiggers have the same design basically. So we have one ounce here, we have half an ounce here. Half ounce, we're going to add, or I'm sorry, not half ounce, but we're going to add half the amount. So in this case, it's going to be um, one ounce here of that lemon juice, just to give it a little bit of a kick, okay? Um, and then we're going to toss in a little bit of grenadine. Grenadine is the part that I like because it really shows off the drink, okay? But before we do that, remember I told you I'm going to get that vanilla fla flavor in there. That's going to really tone it down and make it all work together. And it's just amazing what this little bean does. 
Okay, so we're going to just open up a sliver of it. Okay, now the way this works is you want to get your knife flat like this, and we want to scrape it down the middle of the bean. This is going to release all that fantastic seed in there. That's what people pay money for. That's what you infuse drinks with, like in the vodka here that we did earlier. That's what you pay money for. So you really want all that fantastic stuff out. Okay, so we're going to scrape out the vanilla bean. Okay, and then we're going to... Sure! See, it's just like a pulp, basically. Okay, it's just a pulp. So we're going to add that in there. Now, of course, because we've just added this little bit of vanilla bean, you want to actually stir it. Um, vanilla bean does not dissolve. It mixes. So the, these beans are like a tiny little tip of a hair small. They're really, really small as far as the, the, the uh, paste that I got out of it, um, the, good, the flavor ingredients, okay? And then, taste it, of course. Mmm. Fantastic. It's really delicious. In fact, but just to give it a little bit of something, I'm going to add just a little bit more lemon juice in here. Are you improvising now? No, I'm not because in a batch like this, like I said, sometimes you're working with things you can't control. If this was a re an actual lemon, the sugars would be a little bit different. This is um, pasteurized lemon juice that you get in your average grocery store. And I'm using these products particularly because if you've ever watched a lot of these cooking shows, they tend to use a lot of ingredients that we can't always find in a regular grocery store. So it's kind of silly for me to do a class with a lot of ingredients that are hard to find that you almost need a distributor to get. Um, so I'm trying to use over-the-counter things. So in this case, we're not improvising because I'm allowing a little bit of room in case we have things like this pasteurized lemon juice that we need to um, vary our sugar amounts with. Um, I know you don't normally think about it, but even half and half, we have to think about it. Not all half and halves are made from the same type of cow. The cow's not raised the same way. So some milks might be grassier than others. Some milks might also be uh, a little bit sweeter, like if you were to use soy milk, for example. So there's a lot of things to consider in the products that we're using. So I'm gonna stir this up real quick here and give you a little bit of a taste of this, okay? I'm going to get this little spoon out of here because it's not very practical. Fantastic stuff. Okay. So then, again, now this one, again, I'm going to do what we call agitating. Don't want to shake it because I don't want the ice to melt in there too much and water down the drink. So it's just to get the temperature down is the only application here. Okay. So we're going to strain just a little bit. Okay. Now, it's called a tequila moon because I'm trying to imitate that color of the moon. So I add just a little bit of grenadine here on the bottom. Okay. We're going to give it a little bit of a stir, just a little bit here at the top. Now we have a nice, fantastic layered drink. I love these types of drinks because they're a lot showier. Uh, and a lot of bars like to up the price on these types of drinks because they take a little bit more skill. Okay, I'm going to pour one more here. Actually, a couple more. Why not? We're here to we're here to enjoy some nice summery drinks, right? So why not? This is a really nice, refreshing drink, y'all. This is fantastic stuff. And I'm going to give you a straw with this one. Okay, we're going to add just a little bit of grenadine at the bottom. Sure. Thank you. Fantastic. It's beautiful to look at. Isn't it great? Rainbow.